Okay, so what this is, is this is a um, email through Google, a Google email um, configuration last step that you need to do in order to have Google Workspace um, configured and working properly with your uh, SiteGround account. So if we're doing hosting with SiteGround, we are going, it's, it's going to automatically configure a bunch of things, but the one thing that does not configure correctly if you're already using Google Workspace is are these MX records and so you have to do that manually. Very simple all you have to do is log into SiteGround you want to log into SiteGround and you want to log into your Google admin area your your domains um, and um, and so you're going to log into SiteGround and the easiest way to let me show you what to do how to find this here so you're going to log in, and then what you're going to see up here at the very top, you're going to see domains that you have. You're going to see um, service. So you click on service, and it's going to take a little second here. There we go, services. So you click on services, and then you're going to see right here, hosting plan. You click manage. After you click manage for this hosting plan, you come over here to manage again. Click that manage. And then you're going to see site tools. You click on site tools, that's going to bring you to this new page. The new page here allows you to modify your DNS records and your MX or XM or whatever this all is. Yeah, MX. And within within this tutorial, so we have this video, this Loom video that we're creating, but then also I'm going to give this, this uh, a link here in the description to this step by step this is the easiest walkthrough that you'll ever have to go through if you need to modify any mx records with siteground so for example step one sign into your domain host uh, and then you just follow those steps so you leave the google admin console setup instructions open open the new tab enter your username email so just basically log in here sign into your domain host here and then go to your DNS records. You click services like we just did, click on this hosting and then click manage like we just did. And then in the left column, you're gonna see domains, go to DNS zone editor. So right here you see this domains and there's this zone editor. And that's exactly what we were just about to show you here. You go to domain, you click on domain, you click on DNS zone editor. Once you do that, all you have to do, very simple, you just delete the existing MX records that are currently there. Um, you just push this little delete icon here at the end of the MX records. You know it's an MX record because it says MX right there on the side. And the next thing is click con to confirm the complete to, uh, to delete it. And then you repeat that so that you've got all your MX records removed. Then what you do is you add these specific MX records for Google Workspace account and these are these are the same for everybody so literally you just copy this and you you put it in where it goes so uh, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here you scroll up to the top and you're gonna see create new record section click the MX tab I'll show you right here you scroll up to the top this is the top here you click MX right here and this is this button that says create here you want to set this default to one hour and then the priority, you need to match the priority as it shows in this table here. The priority here for this specific example here is this ASM or ASPMX.L.Google.com. This is just the example that's in this table right here. And you notice that there is right here is the address. That's the destination. Then you see the priority is one. All you do is you copy that, you paste it over. So destination is going to be, just to show you this specific example, destination here is this first one, copy that. And then you come over here and you literally just paste that over here. And this is told, this tells you what priority it is, priority one, you copy that. And then you paste that over here into priority one. And as soon as you do that, you just click this create button. I'm not going to click it because I've already created it. I don't want to delete it and recreate it, but that's what you do. So that's how you do this one for this one destination one. You set it up exactly priority one, one hour. And you notice over here, this, there's a table here. So once you do that one, then you've got to just do the other four. And so as soon as you do that one, you're going to see 
right here, it, after you push create, you just click this little go back button and it, it shows this exact page all over again. You just paste it in and do the same with the other ones. Very simple. Once you do those, see this is what it looks like. Once you click back and you do that for the other steps, now you've got your MX records saved appropriately for Google Workspace. And then, if, and then there's this next step, if you need to still verify your domain, it'll take you through those steps. If you did it through Google Domains, it's just going to automatically verify it when you have SiteGround set up for you. So you, if not, you can just copy that verification code and you just follow these instructions. It's just as simple as what I just showed you. So then, um, so then you, once you have that all verified, then you tell Google to find your new MX record. Now, this is the tricky part that I thought was tricky for a second. What I did is I, I clicked this Google Workspace setup tool, and for some reason it just kept skipping past it because I was already verified and everything. I had to push this X button to stop loading the page. That's the one thing that I was struggling with, is you have to stop it from loading. And then you come over here and you you check that off, and then you check this off, and then it allows you to continue. Basically, you're saying, I've added all existing email addresses to 10x Flow SEO, and you're saying, I'm ready to receive all emails for 10x Flow SEO dot in my Gmail. So, so you basically check those and you push continue, then you're done. That's all activated. That is how you activate your MX records for Google Workspace. So you could use Gmail. Uh, for the domain. So you can use Aaron at 10xflowseo.com or Jaron at 10xflowseo.com or, or, you know, your specific um, domain set up with Gmail. And that's how you do it. So I'm going to put this link here in the, um, into our Asana. And so there's going to be the steps to set that up. If your business is already at 2.5 million or more, we invite you to check out our 10X Accelerated program at 10xflowseo.com, where we can work together to help you reach 50 million or over 100 million per year. If you're not yet at the 2.5 million per year, then feel free to like and subscribe to help keep applying all this video knowledge, our entire playbooks designed to help you get to 2.5 million per year for free.